Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a seamless repeating background. So first off, I'm just going to make a little square that's going to be my seamlessly repeating background. So I'm just going to make a thousand by a thousand pixels. I'm going to click OK and it'll create my document. So I'm going to want two artboards. Artboard one is going to have my seamless repeating background and artboard two is going to have basically four squares of artboard one which will enable me to check that my seamlessly repeating background looks as I would like it to. So you can see I've got my little artboard two there and now I'm going to go ahead and add a square to my artboard one. That's going to be my background and I'm also going to make that a symbol. What a symbol means basically is that if I add anything as a symbol on artboard one and if I have a copy of that on artboard two, any changes will sync to artboard two, which means that we can check that our seamlessly repeating background is actually repeating without having to do like a heap of copy and paste, which is great. So I'm going to just start off with this nice blue background for my um, square and I'm going to make it a symbol as I mentioned a second ago and you can see under layers that I've got this little symbol here. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy that across to artboard 2 and duplicate it four times. That's going to enable me to check the um, that each boundary has like a good... Um, connection and that they're in sync rather than like you you can tell that they're not sort of um, so that you can tell whether things don't line up. So you can see I've got my little artboard too there with four symbols now which are um, copied from my artboard one symbol. So I'm going to add a few things to my pattern now, and I'm going to have some of them overlap the edges and some of them not. Let's start with a little circle. So you can see that's overlapping the four different corners. So I'm going to copy it four times and I'm going to add 1,000 to the Y, add 1,000 to the X and add 1,000 to the X and Y. And that's going to enable it to be over all the different corners and line up with everything. So the cool thing about Affinity Designer is you can take this position and you can add 1,000. So I'm adding 1,000 to the X now. Now I'll copy it and add 1,000 to the Y. And uh, then I'll also make sure there's one in the bottom corner so that my pattern's handled in every direction. And you can see that now every corner has a black circle in it with various varying amounts of that circle depending on how much will make it look like a seamless background. Now add a couple of triangles as well. So this one's only overlapping on that um, that vertical border. So I'm only going to need to make sure that that's handled there. So I just need to add to the X to make sure that I've got that seamless background there. I don't need to do Y because it doesn't overlap with that vertical border, but I'll show you overlapping with the vertical border now. I 
and it's important to note that I'm moving all of these um, new shapes underneath that symbol and that enables them to be copied across onto the um, artboard too. So to the Y, I'm going to add a thousand just so that it can align up and look seamless. And you can sort of see that reflected on up. Now if we have text, we can put that wherever we want and we can do the same sort of thing. If it's in the middle of the screen, it doesn't actually need to have its X and Y adjusted. So yeah, it just depends on what you want as to um, whether you're going to need to um, handle the overlap and aligning things um, but overall it should be pretty simple um, if you've got a square it's and you keep it 1000 by 1000 it's going to be simple calculations to move things around I've created some overlap on that um, horizontal border there, so I'm going to need to update the X accordingly to allow that alignment, and you can see that there. So I can go ahead and export this as a PNG or any type of image. And I want to select that the area is going to be artboard one, so it only selects that little bit that I want to be seamlessly repeating. I can give that a name and click OK and save that wherever I want. And then I can go ahead and create a new document. I'm just doing this so that I can show you how the seamless repeating background can be applied when you create a new document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shape in my document. And it can be any shape and it will and I can use it to fill it. I can think you can even use it to fill text if you want to, so it's quite flexible. Then I click this little pattern fill and I select a bitmap. You may need to use the, app, the arrows to scroll to bitmap to bring up the selector. And I select my image. I can use those little handles to drag it to whatever scale I want um, and also to rotate it depending on how I want it rotated. So you can see that I've got this nice hello seamlessly repeating background and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have please like and subscribe for more content I'll be continuing to make Affinity Designer tutorials for iPad